Squashing and preloading jumps can be a tricky skill to master, but actually can be really useful to help get you over or around obstacles. So today in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be learning. What is preloading then? Well, it's essentially squishing your body into the bike and into the suspension, compressing that suspension to then preload it, so stored up energy if you like, to actually help you either jump or hop, pop over different obstacles or jumps like this one behind me. But how do we do it then? And where can we actually apply it on the trail? Let's find out. First up, let's take a look at how I do this jump without preloading the bike at all. Now let's learn how to do it and see what different it makes on the same jump. Now your suspension by its very nature is designed to absorb bumps. So is, that's exactly what it's going to do to the takeoff of a jump. So if you don't preload your suspension, then that is when crazy things like getting kicked and bucked all funny can occur. By preloading or squashing into your suspension, you're gonna use up a lot, not all of your travel before hitting the takeoff. So instead of compressing on the takeoff, it will be compressed actually slightly earlier and will begin to extend as you go up the lip. You can then use this essentially stored up energy to help give you extra pop out of the top. This could be either for distance or height. It's not just jumps where preloading can be really useful and actually when the going gets rough, it can be implemented as well. A great little section I've got here is a perfect example. So coming in down around that corner up there, I'm gonna preload into the bike, much like the beginning phase of a bunny hop and actually gap over these two puddles, these two holes here, which are braking bumps to clear them so my bike's not jumping up and down and carry more speed into the following section. So here we go. What about squashing jumps? How, where, and when would we use these? Well, let's start with the where and the when. Squashing is primarily used on jumps then and is done to either not go as high or not go as far off the takeoff. And it's something you'll see racers doing all the time. However, it's not just a trick for racers. No, if you're learning, it can be a great way of controlling yourself in the air so that you don't go full send straight away. And I've got a great jump lined up here to show you how to do it on. So let's have a look. Squashing a jump is going to use some of the skills that we learned in preloading. However, when it comes to the lip, instead of popping out of it like we did before, we're going to do the opposite. We're actually going to push through that lip with our arms and legs, bringing the bike up into our body in the air to hopefully absorb the takeoff. And in a slow-mo fashion, it should look a little something like this. Squashing jumps then is not just really good for when you're carrying a ton of speed into a section. It can actually help you get through a section smoother as well. Much like this one here, this is a pretty tight double-double. And if I was to go too fast on this first one, not squash it, overshoot it, I'm gonna land either slap in the middle or on the face of the next one, which is a big no-no. And I'm gonna lose all my speed and probably not be able to make the second one, which would be an absolute stinker. So squashing that first one, uh, is actually going to give me a ton of speed and in another scenario because I've gained so much speed from that I could overshoot the second one so it's just a really good place to apply that squashing just like this There we go then, preloading and squashing jumps all in one banger of a video. Hopefully you guys and girls out there have found this video very helpful for the next time you're out crushing those jumps. But for me, for now, I'm out of it. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a little comment below. Why not? And a subscribe, but I'm out of it. Cheers, everybody.